Okay, so a little bit more TA here. Uh, so we're looking at this. I think this one's a bunch of mining stocks. Once again on ASX, Australian Stock Exchange. Today is the 7th of December. Uh, it's Saturday. Uh, so we're looking at NST. Um, Northern Star Resources. So um, yeah, yeah, massive, massive bull all the way from the back. So that was good. That was good. We could have a double, triple top on the RSI here, and that's why we pulled back on the monthly. We bounce now. We bounce, trying to bounce off this uh, 21 EMA, which uh, together with the resistance now support, supporting the price action. So um, interesting, looking very interesting, looking like it wants to bottom out here, and uh, looking at the weekly. So we're having a downtrend right we're getting a lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and now we uh, came up and um, bouncing of this uh, we're getting a reversal candle here on the weekly uh, spinning top uh, from the resistance here and from the EMAs coming uh, to reject it uh, but uh, you can see previously we went over it and then came back so um, no reason we can't keep going up next week and then start pulling back but we are definitely going to set a uh, uh, consolidate before we reach 1207 so there is no rush to get in um, the way you can do this is uh, on the daily um, oh wait on the weekly what do we got so we got the RSI and the RSI is looking like it's curling upwards now so um, so yeah and the action I guess is going up as well um, <coughs> so on the daily on the daily we had this pull pullback um, and uh, now what we've done is we set we changed the daily trend here because uh, we had the high high low and a high high now and so was this was this our high low once again was this our high low once again so we're uptrending on the daily uh, what we can do is we can try to play off this support here and the 21 and 30 EMA we had a bullish crossover you can see when we have a bearish crossover we had a massive bear run um, so now we are back to crossing bullish uh, the volume has picked up we are getting a bit of a rejection on this Friday uh, from a double top here. So uh, let's see if the bulls can hold this bottom support and then get continuation. Uh, we, we, we have to break this resistance. And uh, actually what I'm seeing is a really nice setup for a inverse head and shoulder pattern here. Um, so maybe if we do pull back, uh, you know, we could uh, we could set a this right shoulder here with a high low and then break. You can get in on the break here. So uh, inverse inverse head and shoulder acts just like normal head and shoulder. It's a reverse of a trend and um, it's a bullish bullish pattern. Um, uh, so so yeah, if we break this, if we break, if we pull back uh, a little bit next week and then break it. Um, to get in on the break here, so that, that, that would be a good uh, good trade opportunity there. Um, and yeah, the volume looks nice. Uh, you know, there is a lot of liquidity in this name. So yeah, yeah, that's the that's the setup here. Uh, we bounced off the oversold RSI levels here. Look, we just touched the 30. It doesn't like to get oversold on the daily, as you can see. It's never pretty much get oversold, and that's why it got bought up here again. Uh, last time it got oversold on the daily was way back, uh, way back over here. And since then we had a massive bull run. You can see there was a big bear run. So, yeah, that's the setup here. Very interesting, actually. Um, uh, I like the setup there for the reversal. So you could even try to get in on a. Uh, on this pullback here, and then maybe if it if it holds this this one and pulls back a little bit, that could be even better. You know, you're holding the support here, you're holding 21 EMA, 
uh, which you've broken first time, you know, since uh, two months. So, so it could be could be a play there. So that's NST. Uh, next one, AMI. Aurelia Metals. Aurelia Metals. Let's have a quick look. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Pump and dump. <laughs> well, not pump and dump, but let's see. So how much we pull back. Ah, very interesting that we are bouncing off this uh, FIBS 0618 and once again it lines up uh, loosely with this level here which was resistance now acting as a support and uh, here it was some, some resistance once again and we had a... we couldn't break it once we broke it all time highs RSI, the triple top and then dump right so so very interesting right now, and um, this could be a buy zone here and uh, for uh, for bounce, you know, even uh, to get to the monthly EMA is 26%, but it's, it's monthly once again, so you want to zoom in and uh, find your entries on the daily and on the weekly. So um, on the weekly, the RSI wants to wants to hold here, wants to uptrend, wants to you could hold the support here and then um, break this ascending triangle. So if we if we hold here, this could be a buy zone on the weekly RSI. And then you can either sell at the support at the sorry at the resistance and expect it to go down again and, and, and then buy on the break on the breakout here so um, that's very interesting here on the weekly on the weekly and basically we have to hold the support here right we have to hold the support there's this support action here there's all this action here and um, you know if we break if we break below it doesn't look like to me like looking right now it doesn't look like it's gonna hold it's actually very interesting because look on the other side we've got ascending triangle it's an ascending triangle, which is a bullish pattern, because we're trying to break, trying to break it, trying to break it, and then we will finally break it while the bulls are holding it higher and possibly holding it higher again. But on the price action, it's the opposite. It's the uh, descending triangle. So you got your um, you got your resistance, and you got the triple bottom almost. It's testing for the third time so uh, this could be a good buy opportunity and then you just uh, put a stop level right there and you get out uh, let's have a look on the daily on the daily on the daily on the daily right so we got the uh, does it uh, hit anything else here so you know it's uh, sort of lines up a bunch of price action here the magical trend lines as you say so it's a bit of a um, Descending triangle here, and it looks like it's thinly traded company. Like you can see all this. Blah. Um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, you buy the support here, right here, and then if it drops below it, uh, you sell it. You put a stop below it, you sell it. Of course, it can fake you out. But you know, that's the nature of the game. Uh, you have to, you have to accept the fake outs. So let's see. It's tightening up. Maybe maybe it's gonna break out somewhere around here at the end of January. So yeah, I like this setup here. Uh, low risk to buy, uh, but you know you can always break down. So yeah, yeah, as long as you have your stops, it's fine. <clears throat> so that's the AMI. Uh, what else we got? We got POS, POS. US Poseidon Nickel Limited. Oh my goodness, so this is very thinly traded company. Um, yeah, looks like... Looks like a... You know, I mean... You're sort of trying to get a bounce here, you have to break above... This level here, it's like sort of like almost a triple top, triple or quadruple top here. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you can break out above it, then you can get some trades, 
some nice trades on the monthly here, but uh, once again, it's very thinly traded. And this area is a big uh, resistance, big resistance here. So it's been going down for ever since it came around. It's been going down, having lower low, lower peaks all the time. And uh, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it. On the weekly, you can see it's just you know, it's a big bump and then bump. Thin the trade company. I mean, you can try to buy here and then expect it to break out. But uh, once again, put your stock below here, you're gonna lose a lot on sleep, which is a penny stock. Basically, what is it? Three cents, 40 cents. Uh, it's yeah, it's not amazing. Uh, not amazing. So, POS, POS, WSA, 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 Western Australia, Western Areas Limited. Right, so is that. Western Australia or what? Monthly. Dun -dun. So this is a bit more interesting on the monthly here. So we are like ranging in this area. Uh, we're inside the range. Obviously, you don't want to trade inside the range. You want this range to break uh, first, and then and then get in. Um, so um, it's fairly interesting. Coming close to the apex, it's gonna break down or break up. Can it break down? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Look at this climax falling here and then pull back. Some sort of news. Uh, weekly, weekly, weekly chart. Hmm. Um, the bulls want to hold here. I mean, you just look at the monthly and you want to you wanna pull it back down more. Just to see, you know, if you break out above. Oops. This is going to be considered the breakout on the monthly. If we break out out of 347. You can try to do bullish trades then. Um, <clears throat> daily. Yeah, so daily you want to change the daily trend to uptrend. Right now it's just downtrending. You know, if we do set. But see, it's got oversold here and then it got bought up. And you can see once again, uh, well, we did get oversold quite a lot here. So we can definitely uh, we can definitely get rejected by the EMAs once again and get lower, 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 low here. And uh, if we do start getting uh, RSI oversold, you know, um, up to 19, RSI 19, then you can try to make a play of that. Because, yeah, look, historically it hasn't gone down much below uh, 20. So, uh, yeah, if we set another lower high here and then a lower low, couple more times see it's got oversold and then people bought out, bought out so if you drop again if you drop here basically you wanna you wanna see if you can buy the bottom of this uh, trend line here depending on your strategy of course you can do the breakout play as well if it consolidates here and then starts uptrending you can buy on the daily uptrend as well so that's WSA Almost like USA, WSA. All right, WSA. So what else we got? We got WGX, WGX, West Gold Resources. So it's, must be, is it a gold company? Could be a gold company. All right. Wow, interesting. So uh, this is your typical uh, equilibrium setup. Well. Lower high. Um, look, the bulls are sort of trying to hold this 21 EMA here. Um, zoom in for more info. We had uh, lots of bearish divergence. And now we're finally setting a lower high and a lower low on the weekly. First time we're downtrending, first time we're closing below 21 EMA here. 
so um, it's the flashing bearish lights here. So you know we, we you know we could easily bounce here, but uh, unlikely we're gonna. Um, you know we want to pull back. Let's have a look. So the uh, you know it bounced off the 0382 RSI. So that's um, you know it can be the bottom, right? So what you want to do is you you got the reversal week down here on the weekly. Um, but uh, the 21 year May, you know you're below 21 year May, so you don't wanna you don't wanna um, take too much risk here because once you're below 21 year May, it's basically uh, bearish sign, especially because you've been above the 21 EMA for so long. So this is the first time you're below it. So it's very notable, and it's the first time that you are downtrending on the weekly. You've been uptrending, you know, uptrending, 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 and now you're downtrending. You expected to set a lower high here and then keep going. So, so yeah, don't um, basically. If you want to play off the daily, um, you want to get on the high low here. To go back up, you want to get on the high low and then put a stop under the high low uh, to keep going. So, um, once again, look, this is like a uh, head and shoulder sort of thing, you know. You have your reversal. And you broke the neckline here. Um, you broke your neckline here. So, uh, and you can see that the, like, they're trying to make it look like a fake out. But, um, you know, I expect it to keep going down. I expect it to keep going down. But um, on the daily, on the daily, you can try to get in on the uptrend once it's uptrending. So, so yeah, it's WGX, um, yeah, not, all right, all right, so, you know, we got double, almost double bottom on the RSI, so just got to be careful of this uh, head and shoulders and the reversal. Because we have <coughs> you know if we start pulling back here, you can put your stop well one nine one see the problem is that there's all these weeks here getting rejected from the twenty one EMA, so uh, yeah, you don't want to risk too much. looks bearish on the weekly so I don't like it you know you could bounce up to 226 easily and then we go back down so what if you go to 226 you know you're getting 13 percent so yeah is it liquid it's pretty liquid it's a nice liquid name uh, on the hour on the five minute is not so much but Anyway, that's the TA, uh, that's almost 20 minutes again, so, so that's it, thank you for watching.